Hi guys, we'll have a quick look at Mercury in uh, Retro Gale, which is by Avril Levine. Let's have a quick look at the song. Starts off palmating, uh, then gets to the chorus, we'll be strumming the chords open, and uh, back to the verse, back to the chorus, and then the song ends. So, let's have a quick look at it. No capos, standard chaining. The first chord which we have is a C major. It's mute, 3, 2, open, first open. Then we have an E minor chord, which is open, second, second, open, open, open. Um, then we have a D major, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, second. Perhaps, sometimes I might add my thumb on E second, just to make the chord D with F sharp on the bass. So, D major, D with F sharp. See that? You can hear the bass. Uh, then we have B minor, mute, 2, 4, 4, 3, 2. You just slightly need to curl your index and bar. Hit that bony part just above the fret and again. Now, let's play together uh, basically our verse. So it's a C5 power chord, then E minor, D. So I have third fret on A, fifth fret on D, fifth fret on G. This is the ultimate power chord shape which I'll be using for this song. Third fret on A, fifth fret on D and G, right? That's a C5. If you bring it to the seventh fret, that's a E5. If you bring it to the fifth fret, that's a D5. Right? Now one thing you have to do is you have to mute every other string excluding the ADG. So make sure the top string and the bottom two strings are muted properly. And now let's come to the, another right hand technique which is palm mating. What's palm mating? It's basically your fleshy part of this region. I'll be putting it right up over here. You get a very soft sound and we'll be doing eight dance string on C5. Two dance string on E. Six dance string on D. So if you count the rhythm, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's how it should sound like. So you got count that in your mind. Play two more times. Last time. So it means like you're playing it thrice. After you play the progression thrice, like it's shown down below, you will now go to the B5 power chord, second fret on E, fourth fret on D and G. You play the string pattern eight times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you'll slightly put your index on E2. So we'll this time hit the top E string. Exception, right? So we got one, two, just two dance string and back to C. Uh, you're doing a dance, uh, six dance string. So last line sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you go to the chorus and you start strumming the chords. C major, E minor, D. Now I'm playing the E minor chord with third frets on E and B, which is a pretty famous sheet. It's known as an E minor 7. So what I'm doing is I'm just following the same thing which I did for the verse. But instead of palm reading, I'm just simply strumming it open. A dance string on C. Two dance string on E minor 7. Six dance string on D. Stuff like this. And then end it, the fourth line will be same. So it's the same progression again after all, but we're just changing the rhythms. We're not palm eating. We'll play B minor full chord, D with F sharp, and then we'll come to C. So you can play the chorus like this. You can play down, down, up, up, down for the C major chord, for the E minor, down, down, for the D, up, up, down. Repeat. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. When you go to the outro of the songs, that's our verse chorus. We have the next verse, next chorus. After that, we have the outro. We just simply have E minor chord going a couple of times. Then go to a G, 3, 2, open, 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 3. And you end the song with D with F sharp on the bass. So we have. That's the whole song. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, for more lessons like this, stay tuned. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.